Aloha everyone, my name is Keenan and welcome to my YouTube channel where an engineer from Hawaii talks about personal finance, real estate, investing and construction. And I've got my World of Concrete shirt on today because today we're going to be talking about why being a construction engineer makes you more money. My two very favorite things in the world just intertwine together engineering and finance. So I think that being an engineer in construction has a lot of benefits. So I'm going to be going over why being an engineer in this industry can put you in a great financial position. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos about this dude in Hawaii talking about stuff. And now let's get into the video. So the, how does being an engineer in construction make you more money? you make more money. So what I've been seeing typically, if you go to like the design side of like civil or mechanical engineering, you're going to be making roughly about $10,000 less starting out than if you go into a career in construction. Now granted that may come as a price because I think you're expected to work more when you go into a career in construction. It's a little bit higher stress. It's not just that cushy office life. So you're kind of getting compensated for that. But getting down into the numbers, specifically for Hawaii, if you're starting out as a construction project engineer or a construction engineer in Hawaii, on the low end, you're going to be making like high 50s, maybe $60,000 starting out. And that goes all the way up to the high end of like 90,000 or maybe a little bit more just starting. And this is why too, I love engineering as a college major because you only have to be there for four years and you just make a decent salary starting out. And so kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, if you start out as a design engineer, especially in civil engineering, you'll probably start out at like the high 40s to like low 50s. And also this is from a perspective of working for like a big Fortune 500 general contractor, but you can also make decent money working for smaller firms as well. And a lot of times because construction, just the way the industry works, may require you to move around a lot. A lot of the bigger companies will pay you some sort of cost of living adjustment. So for example, at my prior employer, I got paid 50% more on top of my salary just to work in Hawaii. And then when I got shipped out to Omaha, Nebraska, all of that got taken away. But yes, in general, starting out in this industry gives you a pretty good leg up on a lot of other people. And you don't have to go to school for like a lot of years. And right now there's definitely a gap in the industry or for what I've seen in Hawaii between like the very young people starting out and the old people that are retiring, which means that there's a lot of opportunity out there for you to keep growing. So a lot of people are getting promoted probably faster than they would be before. And that'll just increase your pay up even more. So there is a decent amount of money to be made in this industry. But then again, like I said, this is a tough industry to be in. If you're in here to chase money, you'll never make it. So there's that. But if you really love it and you enjoy it, and who couldn't love just building all day? Financially, it's just a great place to be for a career. And then moving on to number two, being an engineer in construction helps you in real estate. What do you mean by that, sir? So maybe this doesn't really apply to you if you're a construction engineer for like bridge projects and things like that, unless you're going to build yourself a bridge for your home. But like for me, I work in building construction. So when you work in building construction, you start to understand value. So when you're looking at homes or investing in real estate, having that building knowledge really helps you understand what you're buying. You'll get to understand the value of certain finishes, what real high quality work really looks like. And probably one of the most beneficial benefits of being in this industry is that you kind of get a sneak peek at like upcoming developments in the area. Because a lot of times the contractor is brought on really early in like what they call the pre-construction process of development. Working as a general contractor, you can see what the plans for the developer are and you can use it in your personal life if you're trying to invest in real estate. For example, Hawaii is building this big rail project that has been lasting quite some time. And if you're involved in that construction and development industry, you can understand how the rail is being planned. But in general, you can see kind of what the plans are going to be, how they're going to develop the surrounding areas around the rail stations. And when you start to look at that and how that relates to different cities that have done certain projects, you can see how that's going to increase value in the land around it. So not only do you find out about the developing areas, but you get exposed to all the different actual developers of areas. And most times the developers are the what we call the owners of the project and they're essentially our client as the contractor. So it's good to build relationships with these people and the developers are really the ones that truly understand real estate. Yes, maybe it is on a commercial level, but they do understand how to make money off of properties. So being in the industry and being exposed to these kinds of people, you can get to learn some of the lessons that they learn in their career. So you can build a relationship to help your own job and two, you can learn from them and you can apply all those lessons to your own life. And number three, which I think is probably where you can make your most amount of money by being in the industry, is the leg up that you get on everybody else for renovations. What do you mean by that, sir? So for one, because you see the actual building process and possible renovation process, you can use that knowledge to help you in your own home endeavors. So if you're really diligent in the field and you start to learn how to actually do some of these things, 
You can do some of the renovations yourself. You'll know what equipment to buy, you'll know how to plan the work, how to sequence it, and all these kinds of things that are important for you when you're going to renovate. Or for example, if you get to know some of the workers on site, if you're really close with them and you create some sort of camaraderie, a lot of times they'll be more than willing to help you out if you're trying to do stuff at home. So for example, one of the carpenters came over to my parents' rental property and helped me and my dad install some cabinets. All we had to do was buy the material and he came down, helped us out, put it all up, and even taught us a thing or two and showed us all the different tools that he had to get it done. So being in the construction industry, it's super helpful to have access to these people and it's even more useful to have access to that knowledge of actual construction. And the reason why I say the knowledge is the most important is because if you're going to just manage your renovation or maybe even help somebody else manage their renovation, you'll be able to avoid a lot of the common mistakes that people make when they're hiring contractors or even doing a renovation. So for example, my grandma hired this guy to paint her house. So then apparently he went over to her house, started painting, and my grandma came out and was like, oh my God, this is not at all what we talked about. This isn't the colors that I want. So then sat down with the guy and the guy was like, well, I called her over the phone and I went over everything with her. And it's like, that's just crap, dude. Are you really gonna tell me that you went over the colors of a house over the phone with my 90 year old grandmother who, and you're talking, and, and paint colors are always like flowery, you know? It's never just like gray, pink, white. It's like, for like pink, you've got like, pretty pink, flower pink, orchid pink, bubblegum pink. You've got all these different colors, all these different sheens, and you're trying to convince me that the best way to communicate that to my 90 year old grandma was through the phone? So working as a contractor, you just know. You just know how important communication is, so you have to know who your audience is and communicate with them in the way that makes sense. That did not make sense. But I give the guy the benefit of the doubt. He probably said the right colors over the phone, but my grandma over the phone has no idea what powdery pink is, so. So number four, working in the construction industry opens you up to opportunities. So the industry is just far more reaching than just building the building. As a contractor, you have your team, you have your sub trades. So as a general contractor, you manage all the different sub trades on the job. So you'll have a drywall guy, you'll have an electrician, you'll have a plumbing contractor, you'll have a painting contractor. And then each one of these people have other suppliers or vendors that they'll go to that you'll also get to meet. And also too, as you work with your sub trades, if you really do a good job, they may even offer you a job right after the project is done. So, so that's why general contracting is a great place to start because you get to see how everyone comes together. And then maybe if you have a certain specific niche that you wanna go into for the industry, you have the good exposure for you to allow you to do that. So like I've known people that have left general contracting to focus just on glass, just on tile. And a lot of times it's just a little bit less stressful. And then maybe going even further to actually working for a supplier or maybe even the developer, or it just opens up a lot of opportunities for you to meet a lot of different people. So if you like the industry, but you don't really like the hours or the stress that comes with it, there are other avenues that can allow you to work less hours so you can have more time to do other things in your life, like make more money, or spending time with your family, or starting a side hustle, side business. It's just that this industry is so far reaching that being a part of it really opens up your eyes to what's really out there. And finally, number five, if you work as a construction engineer, the way the industry is set up and the tasks that you're assigned really helps set yourself up that if you really wanted to branch out and start your own business, you could do that. At least at the company I'm at, a lot of the decisions that we make are very business orientated. So you get to see how you manage money and manage risk. And I always tend to think about making these decisions as if I was the owner of the company. And in talking to some of the smaller business owners that I know, I hear it's kind of the same thing. Obviously it's a lot different when it's your money and your risk completely when you have your own company. But just working as a construction engineer gives you enough exposure to see all the different aspects of construction. So you get to see the actual building process. How much does it cost to actually do the project? What kind of planning is involved? What kind of employees make good employees in construction? And most importantly, what mistakes cost you the most money and what you won't want to avoid later on in your life. So if you're really into entrepreneurship and starting your own construction business, starting out in general contracting is a great way to get that exposure and maybe take some calculated risks where it's not entirely your money on the line. And probably the most valuable lesson you can learn in construction is what happens when you don't manage your risk well, because if you wait until you run your own business later on to learn that lesson, that could completely put you under. So those are the five ways of being an engineer in construction really helps you make more money. You have decently higher salaries, you can be more educated in real estate value, you can avoid mistakes on your renovations and make them a little bit cheaper with your own knowledge and maybe other people that help you. 
You'll have opportunities for any kinds of positions that fit your lifestyle. And it gives you a good basis if you wanted to open up your own business so that you don't make unnecessary risks that will end up losing you a lot of money when you try the entrepreneurial route. So I hope this video was helpful for you and gave you some perspective on the industry. So if it did, please hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and you can join our growing family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next video.